my little explanation of how sedimentary rocks are formed. Well, there's three types of rocks. Sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, and igneous rocks. And to explain those three types of rocks, it's good to think of the Earth using this orange model again. The sedimentary rocks are formed on the crust of the Earth, and they're the most common rocks on the crust of the Earth. Metamorphic rocks are, fa are formed inside that crust of the earth and igneous rocks are formed not so much inside the mantle but when the lava or magma comes out and crystallizes on the outside of the crust then igneous rocks are formed there. So today's one sedimentary rocks they are formed because in the mountains, where there's trees and hills and all the land forms around the world, the wind blows, the rain falls, the clouds form in the sky. Erosion starts to occur because of wind, because of rain, because of all extreme weather events. And slowly but surely, down, carried along, with streams and rivers are all the bits of sediment or what ends up as sediment at the bottom. The bits of rock and minerals, the bits of dirt and silt and the bits of organic matter, leaves, trees and things all end up down the waterways, down the rivers, ending up in the lakes and even under the sea. Now what happens in these waterways is at the bottom all of this watery, muddy stuff starts to settle to the bottom and a layer of that settlement or sediment starts to form. And there's pressure, water pressure, pushing down on those layers all the time. And that squashes them together. It sandwiches them together to make layers of what eventually becomes solidified rock. sedimentary rock that the minerals sort of cement those layers together to form that sedimentary rock as it hardens and some of it gradually as the earth's crust moves some of it moves along even when the tectonic plates move some of it moves in different areas so you find it in different places all around our planet earth so that's my little explanation of how sedimentary rocks are formed